everyone. Today, we the students of class 9th A are going to present a presentation on the topic Independent. 15th August 2021, our 75th Independence Day. Now, proof that the British was wrong. Neither did the country get sold off nor have it disintegrated. Today, 74 years later, India is an emerging superpower. But even today, despite of so many years, there are some things that we still need freedom from. And I'm not talking about poverty or hunger. We have been studying these chapters for so long that the, even the book has shaped now. This time around, we will be taking, we will be talking and debating on the topic, are we Indians really independent? So let's start and discuss uh, the views of the students. Others might have forgotten, but never can I. May the tricolors of my country fall very high. As Shimarpi said that we are celebrating 75th year of independence. Since 1947, India has achieved tremendous growth in raising income levels. The gross domestic product GDP is also increasing day by day. The agriculture sector is developing due to the green revolution. This saw the adoption of technology and methods to produce high yield variety seeds. There is also development in medical facilities and education facilities, which grows the economy of the country. In today's era, COVID cases are increasing day by day, but the recovery rate in our country is very high due to very good medical facilities. When we talk about freedom of speech, we feel that we are free to talk about any issue. The social media is also supporting us to express our views. We are using our fundamental rights to live an independent life. The dams, bridges, roads have been constructed by the government for the development of country. I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent. No, I don't agree with you, Anubhav. Today also we can't call ourselves independent. You are telling that the government has made good dams, build dams, and have developed our country, but there is still some need. Recently, an incident occurred in building bridge due to not providing enough materials. It was made weak and does not have enough strength to withstand more people on a bridge at the same time. So when there was more people on the bridge, many people die in the falling of bridge. Many lives were destroyed and many members of all. And there was a great loss of life and property. Do you still can say that we are really independent? I like to see a man proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a man live so that his place will be proud of him. No, I don't agree with Ayan. Today, as a democratic country, we can call ourselves independent. I know everyone feels about the bridge accident, by, but our country is trying its best to do everything that could to make our country better. But as all other countries, there are some mistakes in our planning and execution. I know that this accident was heartbreaking, but we have to support and encourage our government so that they are not demotivated about the comments of the people posting them. As an independent country, our country has done a very brilliant job in fields of education and health. By opening more and more school, primary schools in small villages and encouraging girls to be educated. With that, government had opened many hospitals in small villages so that we could be cured easily. As in this way, we can call ourselves independent. No, I don't agree with your statement that today, in India, the democratic country, we can call ourselves independent. If I talk about that day and year, that is 15th August 1947, a date that asks a question on the British rule, but the real question is that did we become independent on that day onwards? Are we really independent? So according to my opinion, the answer is no, we didn't. There are many incidents occurring in the society which say that in reality, we still aren't independent even today. If I say about one of the most common problems, 
that whenever a girl walks by a street or anywhere, there will be men of cursed mind misbehaving with her. These types of cursed-minded people are not less the society in which photo is men having an opinion for a girl about being an item of use and through also polished from the root level. But we cannot say like this to anyone. Maybe these types of men won't have mother and sister in their house or they had also be abusing to them in their thoughts because of which these types of men are increasing in society. So now also can we say ourselves independent? Our flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it. For us, as the people in India, independence means the freedom of speech, expression, etc. But the true sense of independence is that we are free to do all good possible things to the society without any hesitation. Independence is a feeling of fun which one gets in a long run. In India, there are many where people are still divided based on their caste, religion, and the work they do. Corruption and corruption, education and illiteracy. It's not like I'm trying to point all of the negatives about the country. We have undergone many positive changes too. It's just that being a proud Indian, I just wanted to highlight a few issues on which together as Indians can make our country a much better and a peaceful place to live in. United we stand divided. So in the end, I just want to conclude that are we really independent? If why do we celebrate Independence Day? If yes, then why still people of its country talk against its own country? Why people are not allowed to do the things they like? Why can't walk freely in the streets? Why our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, have said that one nation, one vision, one identity, no nation is perfect. It needs to be made perfect. Thank you. Well said, my dear students. Freedom means the opportunity to be what we never thought we would be. Independence means to be peaceful, to be able to adapt to any situation and satisfy your needs with what you have. It is to take responsibility for your actions and be away of the consequences. Be brave. Take the risk of pursuing only yourself. Independence is a requirement for living your own life. Jai Hind. Okay. Now I'm requesting to all of you to stand for the national anthem. भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरा मराठा द्राविड उत्कल गंगा विंध हिमाचल यमुना गंगा छल जल धि तरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जया है भारत भाग्य विधाता जय है जया है जया 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 है आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक आर डायरेक्टर मैम गुरजीत नारायण आर प्रिंसिपल मैम दिस इज दिशा मैम टू गिव अस आर वी एंड माय students this opportunity for the on the occasion of independence day thank you ma'am um, thank you so much ma'am uh, dear students of class 9 all of you performed very well right and uh, do you know which uh, independence day is it how many years have we been in independent yeah so this is the 75th It's a diamond jubilee of our country to be independent. So uh, your thoughts, the things were very good. What all you said. 
remind you that independence is not only about some particular things. Independence is about everything. Wherever you move, wherever you sit, independence in your thoughts. And being independent, you said that we have the freedom to speak what we want to speak. So we are a democratic country. We want any religion or anything. So all these we are free. But still, when we are speaking, we don't have the independence to say anything wrong where it hurts the other person. That is called independence. Right? Independence of our thoughts is where we are enriching our thoughts, good ideas, with good things. Whatever knowledge we are gaining, whatever we are looking outside in the society, only the good things we are adapting. Like Himani, you share over here that uh, India is an independent country, but it is not independent for the girls. See here, it is uh, not about the girls. It, this independence is, over here it means actually, that how many people of our country are really educated? Education everybody can get, right? Even uh, the people in high offices, they are all, all are also educated. Education can make a person only literate, where he can learn how to read, write, express himself. Right? But when it comes to the other things, respect of other people, be it the girls, be it the boys, be it anybody, be it even the family. Even in the family, similar cases are found. So that's called where you children have to take a step forward and change the thing.